buddies, friends, and law firms. Um, this is Jesse here, uh, StoddardAgency.com, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about um, a continuing series on attorney SEO. So if you are a lawyer, law firm, trying to do attorney SEO in general, uh, this is a great series for you, and this is uh, the third video in my series. I talked about the setting up of the Google My Business uh, location page as a priority before you mess with any other stuff on your website um, and uh, doing optimizing that. And last time I talked about pictures, and you might remember I dealt with that vid um, firm with the bazillion pictures of the logo. And so what I did is I got rid of all those. I just wanted to follow up with you, and I... Uh, we didn't have a lot of pictures of the firm other than the attorneys and the um, outside of the building from Google and uh, just some basic info. So what I did is I at least put generic pictures here. Now, generic pictures are not as good as real pictures. And, and um, obviously, just from a, a human being perspective and from the Internet, I don't know if it, I don't know if the bots can tell much of a difference, but you can optimize these pictures to make sure they're not too big and not too small. So they're blurry. Blurry would be better than or blurry is worse than too big. So if it's too small, that's worse than a little bit too big. They, Google's pretty good at uh, lo load speed here. Also, uh, the titles of the actual files before you upload them. In the last video, I mentioned you could change the caption. In some cases, where you wherever you put these on, you can't change that or there is none. So just make sure the file name is actually, uh, you know, if I select this image um, and I look at info, uh, it's not going to show me anything here. There's nothing I can change. All it is is a category, interior, exterior, at work, and team, and I call these at work. Um, but I will name the file before I upload it, bank, you know, like this one was called Bankruptcy Law. Um, and I don't know how much of an effect that's going to have, um, but I do it anyway just as best practices just to be sure. And that's the same with all these. Of course, I'm picking relevant pictures. Uh, here's a firm that did a little bit more, uh, took pictures of the office. You might think this is kind of silly. But um, I, they they actually work because it's Google Maps. Remember, it's location pages, and it also helps validate this is a real business with offices that really exist. And so uh, the best thing to do is have pictures of you, your the attorneys, of course, but also whatever outside shot is available, um, and then uh, go in and actually uh, take pictures of of your of your your name on the door, um, if you can figure that out. Uh, this is a shared office in this in this case it's a regis so they don't really have that but they at least show the building so people go okay that's where you're at um and the best thing you know show your name on the uh, directory as you enter the building and then of course we added the generic inf you know pictures and their logo and their cover photo from their original office and that kind of thing so just a little follow-up on that now today uh, what we've got is is continuing on our list. We, we talked about these last time. Now we're going to move on to getting at least 10 reviews. Now, first thing to do is ask client questions to get keywords in the reviews and respond to them all. So what I mean by that actually is when you go to get, let's say, reviews here, um, reviews. When you ask for reviews, you want specific details and you want them to say words that are keywords for your firm. Um, auto accident, bankruptcy, et cetera, et cetera. Now it's kind of tricky to get. First of all, it's tough to get people to leave a review. And a lot of times they're just going to leave this, you know, did not even say anything, just left a five star, which is nothing wrong with that. And you'd rather have a review than not. But one way to get a review to, um, to be really comprehensive is to send them a list of questions. Very short. I'm not talking about a long list. I'm talking about a short question like, can you please state the type of case or the category of case that we helped you with? And you could just say, um, you know, uh, how did we help you with your, you know, can you mention that we helped you with your personal injury claim or your auto accident? And then you can ask them, you know, hey, how, how was uh, your experience working with us? Um, how fast did, were we able to respond to your uh, inquiries and messages? You know, asking them questions is good because also if they write up some, anyone who's willing to write up something longer, um, you're going to be able to use that on your website and, and it's going to be a, a, a case study that actually helps you. But if you can if you can kind of guide them along and say, hey, you know what, um, would you mind uh, mentioning these words? Just tell them what keywords and the keywords are related to their case. Auto accident, truck accident, bankruptcy, chapter 13, chapter 7, whatever it is. Try to get them to mention that in your review. So that's that. And then the next one that's really tough is respond to them all. Now here, what's really cool is... We can respond just by clicking this. And you notice most of these are already responded to. That's because my firm does this for the client typically. But we can just say, uh, actually, I'm going to show you a better way to do it. 
this this is easy but not just on google but all your reviews you want to respond and i have a lot of attorneys that i know like they don't want to touch this stuff because they don't want to they don't want to get in in any kind of a discussion with people but things are changing you have to respond to these uh, it shows that your business is is quick and has great customer service number one number two it validates a person for leaving a review because they'll get your response and it makes them feel better like you didn't ignore them and number three there may be an impact we don't know for sure nobody really knows what google's doing but there may be a, a seo impact here by having these uh, comments and responses because they're kind of like a blog in terms of things that are searchable and um, you never know this may have an impact and I think at the very least it shows people that are looking at your business that you are responsive so I can click haven't replied and see which ones I haven't replied to however I use this app it's called reputation management it's part of my um, my uh, system there's some others you can you can search up you know review apps there's a ton of them but we use one that we really like and um, the way what it does is it shows me all of my reviews across the major platforms that I care about. And most of the ones I care about are Google and Facebook and maybe Yelp. I know Avo is, you know, is is a, a source here as well. And that's great for attorneys. We've got that available in here, which is nice. Um, but, you know, you've got a, these are like from two years ago, seven years ago. These are really old. And, um, you know, most, the problem with putting an emphasis on, on Avo or the others is um, the SEO the benefit of having reviews on these other law websites, it's not as good as Google. You just want them on Google because that's how you're going to get found. And that's what people are going to see. Same with Facebook. Now, if somebody's looking you up on an attorney website, it's good to have good reviews there. But I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about having hundreds and hundreds there. I would want my hundreds and hundreds on Google. So this is a cool app because it helps me to respond to them. If they're on Google and Facebook, I can respond directly from the app. So an example, um, you know, Thank you so much for your review. Truly a feedback. I'll hear from you again. Um, now that's a kind of a stock response. I would, I might normally customize that. Probably should have, but we've got it available here. And then uh, I can also sort and find out which ones, um, you know, that I, that basically I, I haven't, uh, you know, haven't responded to. So let's click action required and we can see, oh, here's a couple of them. And I haven't responded on these. There's some old review, somebody goofy down there. Um, this is great. I mean, this is fantastic here. We want to, uh, we're delighted to serve you. And, um, you know, it's it's just fantastic that that uh, that they left us a five-star review. But you got to respond to them. Now, if it's a negative, you got to be very careful how you handle it. Typically, the secret there is to make sure that you are responding in a civil manner, very professional, and uh, taking all of it offline as fast as you can. So, for example, zero stars, you know, worst attorney on the planet, they, you know, Whatever, whatever. Um, now, if it's somebody you've never heard of, which sometimes happens, unfortunately, because maybe other some unscrupulous person is having them leave bad reviews on your site, then you can flag them with Google, and you you um, you would flag them here. You would click this, and you click flag. Now, then you got to make an argument uh, as to why they should remove it, and often they're not going to. Okay, so you can say that uh, you know, explain to Google that you don't know who they are and you have no record of them, but you still want to respond to them either way. And you're going to say something under the effect of, you know, thank you for your feed valuable feedback. You know, we pride ourselves on great customer service, and all feedback is helpful in our process. And then, however, you know, um, unfortunately, after looking through all our client records, we have no indication that we've ever worked with you. And I'm, I hope that you haven't accidentally left a review on the long, the wrong web website, right? Uh, the wrong, the 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 wrong um, uh, listing. So you can say those things, but you'd be civil. It'd never start an argument. You know, you could say, "Hey." Um, you, you know, thank you very much for your, your review. All, all reviews and responses are helpful in improving our, our service. We pride ourselves in, in fantastic customer service. Um, and we're sorry that you didn't have the ideal experience. Please call us at, you know, 800 blah, 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 in order for us to go over this with you further and to help you with your, you know, clean, clean up the situation or whatever. So you always want to say, take it offline to a phone call. And you that way you show that you responded. You didn't leave it. You didn't leave it blank. And you've done it in a way that gives them, uh, you know, validates what they said, uh, but without, uh, you know, without agreeing. And uh, most uh, people online are smart enough to figure that out. That you've got yahoos out there that leave bad reviews or or fake ones. Okay.
So respond to every review and you got to get at least 10 of these things. So make sure your assistant or whoever is set. Every time you close a case, you need a process where you send out an email uh, and maybe a text message. And now, by the way, we have another tool. Then there's several out there you can search for that will automate this for you. Uh, emails and text messages to, to people. If you have a larger firm, that might make sense because you have a lot of transactions. But those kind of those kind of tools are usually for retail where there's like hundreds of customers. If you, if you, you know, unless you have hundreds like every week, you don't really need that. You just need to send an email, maybe a text message. All right. Um, that's the main thing. And then um, I'm gonna, one more thing we're going to cover here today uh, or two new th things really quick. Creating posts um, is it the other the other thing that we're going to talk about and creating a Google website. I'm just going to cover this really quick. So you're going to create event and offer posts dated into the future. Now, this is a little tricky. Um, I think this is optional. And basically, there are posts over here. And you can add, you can create uh, events, and you can create updates and offers. At the very least, you want to create regular posts in here. Um, events are interesting because you can have some sort of um, some sort of recurring event that you do. If you have that, if you do information meetings of any kind, even if they're for like uh, referral partners, they're not even for the end user, like somebody who would hire your law firm today. Maybe they are for um, estate, uh, you know, or, or financial planners, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, other people that that you do information meetings for. You, if you have them, add them here. Anything that's recurring, even if it's just like a you know, some you do a webinar, put it on here. Uh, anything that is that that could be recurring, that's going to help because people will find those. Okay, this lawyer does not have them yet. We have to work on that. Um, you know, the next thing on that list, where'd it go? Sorry, um, is uh, oh, I might have forgotten something basic. You know, when you're here and you have posts, this I treat just like I would Facebook. I'm posting here too. And by the way, where we do this is we have another app for that. This is our, our social marketing app. We connect Facebook, Google My Business, Instagram, Twitter, and the uh, business page and personal page for LinkedIn. And it allows us, and there's others, uh, there's like Hootsuite and some others that do this type of stuff. This is one we use in our agency that we really like. Um, and we include this for all our clients. But you can find something like this out there. But it allows you to post on multiple platforms at one time and then also track your stats it allows you to schedule posts in advance on a calendar uh, or see what you did in the past here and where they posted and what your posting schedule was. Um, you can see what cu customers have commented or posted or mentioned you. Um, you can set this up to look for leads where people that have uh, monitored you know, Twitter and that kind of thing. You can also use it to find interesting content if you need ideas for what to post. Um, and then your insights are kind of fun because that's your, you know, that's your, uh, you know, some of your traffic and the link performance, seeing which ones are, are clicked and how many times they've been clicked and which ones have, you know, performed better than others. And this is organic here. So our paid stuff obviously gets massive numbers of hits, but the free stuff is, you know, it's kind of interesting to, to just, you know, look at and see what we have going on there. So that's what we use. And that's how we post to all those locations at once. Um, I would recommend that because otherwise you're going around, you know, doing this all day long and or the person you're hiring, you're you're basically overpaying them to do that <laughs> unless they're really, really getting hyper focused and doing specific things that are just for this platform, like these events. Um, but even then, I don't know if it's really necessary. It's kind of an option. OK, so we talked about making posts on Google My Business. You need at least a couple of them to get started. And then uh, what new, what's new product type posts that they have here? These what's new, the you know, products. You can add a section on there just for a specific type of law service you do, like auto accident, truck accident, that type of thing. And you could experiment with some posts there. And all of it, it helps you just get found better. And remember, Google owns this thing. This is their baby, right? So they're the number one search engine and they love Google My Business. So you're, you know, there's a reason why this is so important for SEO. And then the Google, uh, this is something that very few people do. In fact, um, I don't even know if I've done it on this one yet. So this click, this link down here for website, it sets up a website. Now you can actually make this your main website and point your domain here. I wouldn't do that. I'd have a real solid, normal, awesome website, you know, professionally done. But this is pretty cool and it gets search volume. And it's based on the information you put on the Google My Business listing. So your title, your hours, your picture, uh, the updates, see, it's almost like a blog on there. Um, and we've got a lot. Your testimonials, your reviews are all there. Uh, your about page information. 
your and your photos and and your map i mean this is huge and and it, this is going to show up on its own you know it's it's actually got its own link and it might be found you might even want to get a separate domain and you might even promote it from time to time you could promote this page and what's cool about it is that people can see all your updates and blog articles and they can write a review here so you could actually send them this link and write them a review i i actually send i typically don't you know, send that link. I, I even go even a shortcut for them, by the way. Forgot to show you this. You need to go down here and get more reviews. Share review form, and you'll notice this link right there. That sends them directly to, in fact, we'll test it. It sends the person directly to where to leave a review. It should, unless I'm does something funny because I'm logged in here. Yeah, it might, might be doing something. Yeah, I did a Google search. I think that's because of the, because of, yeah, it because of the way I... I'm logged in and it's all kind of weird here. Let's see if it'll work if I try it again. Yeah, it doesn't. That's kind of strange. Um, normally it would. It's probably just because of the way my computer's set up right now. Normally it takes you here and you can like leave a review. And I already left a review, so maybe that's why. That's another reason. So anyway, you want to get that link uh, from over here and email this link. And you, Again, that's on this main page here. It's just down to get more reviews, share review form. And you want to share that to emails to your clients. You can also put that on social media. Okay, so you can send them directly to this page, but it's even faster to do that other that other link. Okay, so that's that. And uh, it's, you know, take a few minutes to make sure this is all filled out. But the way you fill it out is by basically filling out your profile. So it's automatically generated based on the profile in the info section over here and what other things you've added. Um, now, the next thing is uh, you can have up to 100, 1,000 words of content on there. So you can really flesh out that uh that um, uh, description text, I would have whatever main copy you have on your website, just copy and paste it there. For all my clients, I'll keep like a section of them uh, for them where I've got like a, you know, like a long description here of a thousand words or whatever. This is the kind of stuff that I would want to put on there. So I'll, I'll, I'll actually update that right now or I'll make sure that it's there. Let's go back over here. Let's go to info. Let's check it out. Let's see. Do I have all that on here? I think, yeah, I think that's already it. Is that already it? Yeah. yeah community. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's a little different. It's a little different. You know, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is better. So uh, it's pretty good, though. It's 750 words is what they allow you for here. You want your keywords in here, your primary services, a little bit about you. So I think that's pretty good. Um, and again, uh, that's going to show up on that web page. So um, there's that. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about today is inserting links to local places and the GMB uh, listing on that website. So you don't really have to do that. That's a little bit outdated, sorry. Um, but it's still somewhat relevant. When you look at this page, um, you can actually insert links here uh, to other local things. And what, what I would do in that case, it's got your address here. That's the most important deal. But if it, what you could do is if there's any landmarks um, like this Xfinity building, um, you might want to say just down a block from the Xfinity building. And then you, you could even include a link in here uh, in, the, in this text for that. This is an optional little thing. But the reason is, is the more links you have to maybe local landmarks and, and whatnot, um, the better the, the better um, you know search is going to find it. So it's a little trick. We might try this. Uh, I would to do that. I would put that in the in the description down here. You know, uh, I, I got a little bit of time, so I might go one block down from. Now wait, I better check that, right? I better check that. So let's do maps. So we're gonna look it up, and and this is what you do. You look up your firm. I mean, you probably already know, but look up your firm. Uh, and you're going to see how, what is the thing that people recognize? Well, in this case, this, this is Xfinity Community Ice Rink. So what I want to do is I actually want to find this link like that. And there it is. Okay, and so I can, I can share this link here, copy link. Uh, Xfinity Community Ice Rink. So I could do it that way. It's not a bad way to go. One block down from... X, and, and I want to make sure I put it in there, right? Xfinity Community Ice Rink. Now, is that the main thing, though? Is that usually they, they would ever, you know, they might call it somebody else. But that's that's what we that's what it's called right here. Okay. Now, optional, I can put this link in. 
and put this link in. I don't know if I want to do that permanently, but I'm going to test it. See if anything is affected on that. I doubt that's necessary here. And it doesn't save it anyway. So like if I go here, let's, let's see here. Yeah, it, it, and it doesn't even look like it's helped letting me save it. That's funny. Yeah, maybe because it doesn't like the fact that, yeah, a URL is not allowed. Okay, so there's the test, right? All right, good. I tested it. I'm not an expert on everything all the time. All right, so, but we can put the name in there, and that might get found. That might get found. See, there you go. So uh, it's also just helpful. It's helpful. And you might think, gosh, all this time spent on this Google My Business listing, just remember, just remember, we're talking Google here, man. So if I put law firm near me, I'm going to I'm gonna get um, ads, and then the next thing down, uh, this wouldn't show up for you, this oh, Evernote's a thing I use, but I'm going to see these ads, and I'm going to see the map. And this three-packer, the three-packer, the top three organics right there, that's what I'm going to find. It thinks I'm in a different town. I'm going to do law firm uh, Everett, Washington. So what I'm going to see here is, there we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to see these right here and just general law firm. If I do bankruptcy. Okay. Oh, cool. Skeleton number one. All right. That's one of my clients. I'm so happy about that. That is so cool. So, um, but up here we got the ones playing, paying some big money to be in the top ads. Here's my client and the other ones competitors. Um, and then you've got your organic search. And then you've got ads at the bottom. And nobody's even going to page two or page three, right? Hardly anybody. And most people are going to click on one of these three organic listings right here on the map. So this is Google My Business. In case you weren't 100% clear, GMB, Google My Business, is Google Maps. That's where your business is found on maps. So when I click this, it's going to take me back here to the close-up. And all this information in here is information that you know and the responses look at the responses to the reviews um posts are in here i mean uh, the twitter profile showed up in here um it's just like there's a lot in here and people are going to be here more than they are your website that's how important this thing is it's totally critical all right well i hope that helped you um you know there's a lot of there's a lot here um what you've got is you know, quite a bit. And we're going to continue with this attorney marketing local SEO fundamentals. Uh, and, and we're going to wrap up Google My Business and move on to some other stuff pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope, uh, hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to ask questions, leave comments, and uh, you can learn more about us at stoddardagency.com, S-T-O-D-D-A-R-D agency.com.